we now take up a new topic returns to a factor before we explain the first thing first why study this topic at all remember we are studying microeconomics and in microeconomics the main emphasis is on market and within the market the main emphasis is on price determination and price determination is turn determined by forces of demand and supply we have already studied the forces of demand in which we studied two questions about the behavior of the consumer one was related to consumer equilibrium and other was related to law of demand that is reaction of consumer to change in price from demand now we shift over to supply in supply also we study two aspects of the behavior of a producer how much a producer should produce so that he gets maximum profit this is nothing but producer equilibrium so we have a topic called producer equilibrium which we will take up a little later then another aspect law of supply how much quantity a producer will be willing to supply at a given price or if price changes and why our main concern in this topic is to study one of the aspects of this uh, supply side let us remember how much quantity a producer is willing to supply is determined by cost अब आप कहेंगे साहब कॉस्ट से क्या ताल्लुक है हर प्रोड्यूसर का पहला ऑब्जेक्टिव पहला एम्फोसिस अपनी कॉस्ट को रिकवर करना द प्रोड्यूसर डिटरमिन्स द प्राइस एट विच ही विल बी विलिंग टू सेल is determined by the cost incurred by him the minimum price at which he is willing to sell would be the cost of producing the commodity because his immediate objective is to recover the cost so how much producer will be willing to supply at what price is determined by cost we have a separate topic cost which we will take up after this after returns to a factor so we are trying to link supply with the topics which we are going to study from now onwards now cost in turn is determined by technology what is the meaning of technology technology simply means method of production method of production means 
combination of inputs. How much labor, how much capital, how much raw material and so many things. The moment you change this combination, technology changes. So technology here should be taken to mean method of production. The technical name for this technology in economics is production function. It's a mathematical name also. Production function means ki production kiska function hai? Production inputs ka function hai. So you can call it input output relation. What does a production function shows? A production function shows relation between let us say change in inputs and consequent change in output. That is the meaning of production function. Production function has two aspects which we will take just now. With this little background, we now say something more about production function. We have just seen the meaning, the relation between input and output. Mathematically, it is represented like this. Q here means output, quantity of output produced. X refers to the commodity. Is the function of input 1, input 2, input n. That is how a product, if there are 4 inputs, then n will be 4. If there are 10 inputs, the n will be 10, like that. This is a general form of production function. Note that in this function, we are only talking of physical inputs and physical outputs. यहाँ कहने का क्या मतलब है? यहाँ मैं value की बात नहीं कर रहे। ये input कितने में आएंगे ये बात नहीं कर रहे। We are not talking about the price of input or the price of output. We are simply talking about 